Yes, brother. You are not facing the great tribulation yet. It's gonna get a lot worse. It's gonna get a lot worse out here. And if you're not bracing yourself, if you're not repositioning yourself to enter into this new realm, to enter into this new world, to enter into a caste system, to enter into a system where you can't sit down in a restaurant, to enter into a system where your kids gonna be kids gonna be educated at the house. You ain't got enough income to feed your kids now and no more free lunch no more. You ain't repositioning yourself, you gon' perish, man. You gon' perish because you're gonna enter into a new realm. You gonna get downtrodden with this place, man. You keep being, uh, keep relying on your oppressor to dig you out of this thing. You gonna, you gonna fall right with these people, man. You gonna fall right with them. How you doing, brother? Hey, how y'all doing? You doing all right? Hey, doing, brother? What's going on? I got some questions. You got some answers? Uh, that's why I come here. Now, uh, this is this is a confusion, man. I don't understand. Now, you have we were uh, enslaved by the, uh, the Egyptians, correct? Right. We were in captivity in Egypt. In Egypt. And then we worship, or we don't worship uh, Egypt, but we. Like we, we idolize those things that they do, like the Masons and the, uh, the Deltas. I'm confused. Right. So if these people put us in captivity and enslaved us for so long and still doing it to this day, why are we worshiping them? Give me proper three things. It comes out of envy, us envying our oppressor. That's one of the reasons we do it. Proper what? Three and thirty-one. And any time, every time we came out, the reason why this book is we got seven captivities. Every time we got to these different captivities, we've been in here with the Assyrians, the Persians, the Egyptians, the Greeks, the Romans. We ever cut always under that uh, oppressive state. We always graft in what they, what they, whatever they was doing. We always want to take that ideology and have it for ourselves. So we would worship their gods. We would do what they do. That's a saying is as in as in when as in Rome do as the Romans do, right? So every captivity, that's what we did. Even when we were brought out of Egypt, we 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 complained and we murmur and we wanted to go back into Egypt. Even we're after so the most high school. So used to being so used, used to, to being just yeah, like today. Right? Just like today, just like today. So we don't want to come out of this same captivity and, and, and serve the most high. But all this comes from that envy. Okay. Us envying our oppressor, us looking up to our oppressor instead of, instead of understanding that the society is controlled over all, right? And that it all belongs, it already all belongs to us anyway. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead and bring that out. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. For the forward is an abomination to the Lord, but his secret... Uh, give me Psalms 37.1. It says, don't envy the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Uh, you Psalms 37 and 1. Psalms 37. Psalms 37 and 1. And so when you had the Greek fraternities, they're doing that because they're trying to be like they oppressor. They oppressor had those Greek fraternities, those Greek societies, all that, that Freemasonry, all that. They was them envying their oppressor. So we wanted our own. Or we wanted, and instead of us having our own, or instead of us being within theirs, we had to separate and get our own. So we'll be a proud to be a Greek, but if I tell you you're an Israelite, I tell you you're God's chosen nation. They face change. They face. They, 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 they don't want to be that. They don't want to be that, right? They don't want to be that. They'll rather be a Greek because that's within the realms of this society. You know what I'm saying? But the scripture says that he's gonna, they they gonna hate us. They gonna hate the world because we're not of the world. You see what I'm saying? Now if we was of the world, they would love us. Rised up in this society, they usually get risen up under some form of wickedness. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's glorifying dope, dope boys, or glorifying whoremongering, or glorifying strippers and whores. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way these people will raise up 
you know what I'm saying, our people is if they're going out here and giving that narrative of being whores and being strippers and being dope boys, you know what I'm saying, not being producers of, of anything of any quality. Right, 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 or anything positive. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 1. Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Says, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. So don't be envious against uh, like your, like your, like your Bill Gates. You know, that's in a lot of our times right now. Because we have pretty much made him a god where he can make certain decisions for our lives to do. You know what I'm saying? When he gets a computer guy. You know, now he's dealing with the diseases and he's dealing with all these other things. And, and, and he's covering the narrative of population control. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nobody gave him that power. That power belongs to the one side. You know what I'm saying? And, and it also stems from us having a lack of fear of God. You know what I'm saying? We fear losing our job. We feel that we should be fearing God instead of we should be fearing God. And that fear is what's going to govern us. Those things that we fear is what's, is what's going to pretty much, y'all get a class here about our motives. That's what's going to drive our motives, drive our actions, is that fear of the most high. And so it got to begin, it got to begin in there. Uh, you got any other questions? So Freemasonry is evil. Freemasonry is evil. I know Aki, and if I can speak a little bit on it, I know it's a level where if you ride that horse, you can't Go. come back from there. What you mean? I don't really know it's, what it means. But it's, called, know. it's called riding a goat. It's symbolic for allowing somebody else to control everything that you do. So you, when they say you ride the goat, then that means you allow, yeah, it's the goat. When you ride the goat, that means you allowing them to control everything that you do. They put you on a goat and then they try you around and you know, that's just symbolic for they got control over you. Going to the certain degree. levels, yeah, 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 yeah. Third degree, it's a wrap. Yeah, it's yeah. a certain. I don't know what level it is. You ride this go. Thirty third. Thirty third. Thirty third degree. Thirty third. That's that's, that's, that's the, the highest level. level. That's the yeah. highest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying. And it's and, and how they sell it. It's, it is some truth in it. You know what I'm saying. Most good lies got a little truth in it. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying. So they will give you like they have the base about it. They give you the scriptures, but it got a lot of that Egyptology that it nails also in. And um, the like I said, you go and you start realizing, hey, right. I, you know, this right. ain't right. Yeah, this, so, ain't, this, ain't, this ain't it. But right. you can go too far, you know what I'm saying? And that's why you're not supposed to be dealing with you know what I'm saying? Exactly, it'll right. take you into that. It'll take you into that, you know what I'm saying? You had something on that? Or? No, no, it's just, it, there's a very thin line between righteousness and wickedness. So there's a very thin line. So even in the 33, that's why he said 33 and a half. That's what we'll go to the uh, rules of fix. Just like Christ said, it's all rituals, sacrifice, idolatry. Right. And you can bring that scripture and say no other gods, you know. So because at the same time when we look in, uh, like he was saying, you go ahead and adapt other gods. You're going against the principle of the Most High God. Which is one God. Yeah. And having given, yeah, and giving all glory. Unto him. That's what we get to do. We give all glory unto that one God. That's that's one of the main commandments. You know what I'm saying? Have no other gods. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Exodus 20 and verse 3. Thou shalt not have no other God before me. No other God before me. So you should be worshiping no other deities. Now give me uh, Deuteronomy 32 8. Because there are other deities. You see what I'm saying? Moloch. Yeah, Moloch. Be all pure. Be all pure. You know what I'm saying? That's in Mason. And that's in Mason. That is? I don't know. That's a sacrifice. That's a sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Moloch. Yeah, Moloch. Because I done seen, yeah, I done seen, um, yeah. I seen what they did, but this dude went into it and filmed actual ritual and they pretending they had to scream in and uh, yeah. sacrificing and giving and quit. And see, what we used to do is we used to send our kids through the fire of Moloch. We used to sacrifice our children to that fire of Moloch. And that's, that's because we were worshiping. We were worshiping and, 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 and envious of them and thought that's what they but that's what they did. You know what I'm saying? And thought that's what was gonna give us rain. That was gonna make us successful. That was what's gonna cause that's what they were doing. Right. And they was oppressing us. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's certain things that happen under oppression. Like I was reading the uh, 12, 12 years of slave, I was reading the book, and uh, it came a point where the where, where the slave was like uh, the main character in there, he had got saved from being hung. 
and he had been, but he had been still left up there hanging for days. And he got to the point once the master came and saved him from being hung by this other group that um once he got saved, he still wanted to. I ain't see the movie, y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was that in the movie. Yeah, yeah, it was in the movie. And so he ended up wanting to do more work for the master. Because he saved them after that, he wanted to still show them that I still have some work. I still so it says certain things under oppression. We want to show, we want to be appeasing to our oppressors and try to be like them, dress like them, talk like them. You know what I'm saying? And have the same mannerisms, have the same social and moral compass that they have, and we can't, we can't, we can't do that. Huh? Stop on, stop on, stop on. Yeah, I appreciate this, man. And I love the fact that y'all are doing this. Y'all getting in the word, and a lot of people ignore it. Almost like a, a defense. Everybody gets upset when I talk about right, it. Right. I mean, I got a degree in history, and I've always been that book, and that book always tells me something. Grab a fly out of the. Uh, from, he got you, he got you. Okay. Give me that almost uh, five and ten. I'm gonna let you get back to work, brother. What's yeah. your name? Uh, Brandon. Brandon. Okay, I'm brother Phoenix. Phoenix. This is the book of Almost, chapter three. Five and ten. Five, yeah. verse ten. Did you bring any? Y'all got. It. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. They said they hate him that rebuketh at the gate. That rebuke is bringing correction. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to like that. They're not going to let you. They're not going to let you reprove them. Negroes don't like nobody telling them nothing except the white man. Right. You're the only one you tell them something. You know what I'm saying? So that's even in the scripture. You just got to dust your boots. You know what I'm saying? You hit it to them a couple times. And uh, don't frustrate yourself. Because a lot of times, especially when you first coming into this group, we want everybody to know. We want our families to know. Right. But at the end of the day, it's all it's all about the most high. The most high gonna wake up when he needs to wake up. Like at the times he needs to wake up. Like nigga, shut up. Yes, I'm with that. But I'm trying to try to put a mess up my high, man. Right, right. You right. know what I'm saying? So you know, just gotta be careful with that. Did that. you know the slave is recorded in the Bible? No. Really? You didn't know that? You know we the Israelites? Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. I knew we the Israelites, but not the actual slavery. Slavery. Of, of the transatlantic. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I did. I, did, I think I did. Yeah, Deuteronomy 2868. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that down. Draw that down. Go ahead and give him that. Uh, Deuteronomy what? Deuteronomy 2868. You need that whole Deuteronomy chapter. Verses 1 through Deuteronomy 28. Verses 1 through 15 is, is, is the blessings if we were to keep the commandments. And, and uh, 15 through 68 is the curses if we didn't. And those curses are a marker to who the real, real Israel they identify as to who the real children of Israel are. 15 through 68 they do? That's correct. 15 through 68. Right there. Oh, oh. We'll, we'll identify that these are the true children of Israel because we fit those curses. The blacks, Latinos, the Native Americans. You know what I'm saying? Read a couple of them. Get that book. Yeah, get that book. Yeah, get that book. And I, I see a lot of people like on the internet, they try to rebuke, rebuke and say stuff. Y'all talking about the lies. Yeah, because it messed up the church money. Church yep. money. Yeah, it's going to mess up the church money. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, there's a lot of uh, cognitive dishonest. Because a lot of us have an identity in the church. You know what I'm saying? We've been going so long. We've been geeking. We've been investing so much into the church. That we can't, we can't, we can't hear saying. Because they control by real. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And dealing to the, the, the mason. Yeah. Because you can go into church and have your mason hat on it. This is the book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He's going to bring you into Egypt again. Now Egypt is Mr. Rain. It means bondage. You know what I'm saying? It just means bondage. He's going to bring you into bondage again. But this time with ships. And you know what Israel and Egypt did. He didn't use ships to get out of And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you. No man's going to be able to redeem you out. Because it's always been slavery. You know what I'm saying? If you fell into a bad time, that's why we have laws governing slavery. Because if you fell on a hard time, you can sell yourself 
into a into a servitude with me, and I had to abide by certain regulations in in a certain time period to let you to let you go. You know what I'm saying? So it's always been captivity. I always been saying, give me first 54 also. That's an identifier and a marker to show that we're those people, those people that part of that transatlantic slave trade. Verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. His eye gonna be evil towards his brother. A lot of that black on black crime is part of the curses. Crips, bloods, Crips, bloods, bloods. even Latino kings, even a black and brown, even a even a light skinned, dark skin. You see what I'm saying? And that's even in the Bible with uh with Miriam and uh, not Miriam, yeah, Miriam and uh and Moses. She got mad that Moses Moses had a dark skinned wife. And the most high end up cursing her with leprosy because of that. But it was still a, it was still something that was deep rooted even back then. You know what I'm saying? Even the, the wisdom of Solomon, the one in five, oh my skin is uh I am black but but um, You know what I'm saying? She gotta justify her her, her being darker because we like being red. Right. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children which he shall lead and towards the wife of his children and towards his children which he shall lead 80 percent of our households raised by single parents you know what i'm saying that's part of these curses you know what i'm saying so we got to go back to the manual everybody got an instruction manual everything come with an instruction manual when you start a job you get an instruction manual you feel what i'm saying when you, when you, when you buy a tv you get an instruction manual everything come with instructions so we got to go back to our manual that, that's, that's specifically for us, you know what I'm saying? Because we riding around, we being a Toyota, we riding around with an instruction manual of a Range Rover. And then it's, when we do that, things don't operate properly. We start worshiping other deities, start putting parts on that don't uh, that don't hold up. Man. But uh, you had anything else? Now, I, I just want to say, I, it's, it's just interesting how a person can do evil and know they're doing evil and they can't do it until their life. If I do something, if I do something and I know it's wrong, right. it's gonna bother the hell out of me. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the spirit within you that condemns you. Once you don't have that condemnation no more, then that spirit not there anymore. And so once that spirit is gone, there's no that you can't repent because you don't have no condemnation. You don't feel guilty about it, so you ain't gonna turn away from doing it. That's a blessing. That's a spirit. That's just to have that spirit of condemnation. Just to have that spirit there, and that's how it, that's how it teaches you. You know what I'm saying? That spirit and having that guilt. That like, yeah, oh, I, I got man, it. I should have did that. Yeah. You know, I, I, I ain't gonna do that no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the Holy Spirit, huh? and that's what that's your compass. That's your spiritual compass, even without the book. You know better than to uh, do certain things. And once you once that leaves you, then you definitely in trouble. But but that just having that having that is so beautiful and a sign from the Most High that he that he that he's dealing with that he dwells within you. But sound like you say something. I mean, I know don't white add people, it. like Trump. It's just like he just spineless. Like I, I know white people that just oh they don't. Oh, it's sad, man. Read that right there. This Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Because they haven't been, that, that, that sentence, that, that judgment haven't came down on them immediately. It can, it, it's in them to continue to do evil. Because they haven't been judged at that immediately second, they're gonna constantly uh, do that evil. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's just like when you when you rob a bank. When you rob a bank that first time, or when you about to steal something. You know, I know I know I had something saying now you know you ain't supposed, supposed to, to do, do that. that. But once you get away with it a couple times, I'ma still feel sick. You still feel, but a lot of times people start getting become an addiction. To it. Yeah. They get cold to it, they, and then they, yeah, they become an addiction where they just start doing it just to do it. They don't even want it. They just like, you know, this is just something I got to do to get that little dopamine it. release. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even with robbing banks and, and, and murdering. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, you know, they had them the first couple times they murdering. They may have them bubble guts and they had that feeling of condemnation, but after a while, they get numb to it. And that's when they just be cold blooded kill. They can just walk in somewhere and just shoot everybody, you know what I'm saying? And not, not worry about the repercussions. But that happens once that once that spirit. And I say one. Go ahead, it seemed like back in the day, like if I did something wrong or I did something I knew I wasn't supposed to be doing, 
I got caught immediately. But the next person do it, they keep doing it, they keep doing it, and I ain't never been caught. I do it one time. <laughs> one time. Yeah. Yeah. So hey, I'm about to do it, and I see the trouble, and I say, damn, I'm so glad. chapter 2 and verse 9 but as it is written I has not seen nor ear heard neither has entered into the hearts of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him That is of God. Hear God's words. He therefore hear not God because he is not of God. Now I said, He that is of God hears God's words. That's why you came across the street. Oh yeah, you see what I'm me. I, I, I had it. You on. see what I'm saying? That's that. That ain't that ain't that ain't normal. That ain't normal for somebody that had to pull their car out their car, pull their car over. Matter of fact, just to pull over. Precept. You know what I'm saying? Just to pull over, but that's because you're supposed to hear that word. And you are of God. You hear his words, you're going to stop to get it. John 10, 27. This is the book of John, chapter 10, and verse 27. It says, My sheep hear my voice. The sheep hear his voice. Come on. And I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life. Father, these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. 
seem like a right brother. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you had anything else? No, I just trying to get my friends away from that e five stuff, man. They got that that's been oh, going. Oh, that been oh, going. Oh, man, that's so man. strong, man. With the bees. And see that you know why? Because it don't require anything. Just, it's nothing. It just all you got to do is wear the bees, put a candle. Over sacrifice here. ducks, and sacrifice ducks and chicks. Yeah, man, they that. And see, that's why we in the times that we in because of you know spiritual like, wickedness yeah. like that, man. Spiritual wickedness in those dark places, man. It yeah. seems like uh, Satan or whatever you call him is getting trickier and trickier and yeah, craftier. craftier. And it's, it's craftier for you to do that and then do those rituals and then not look at all that. Look at all this money, man. You should come join me. Yeah, like man, you shouldn't be doing that. And now he don't seem like him himself. I, know I, know the soul. I, I can look in your eyes and tell something ain't right. right. But like when somebody come around me or be around, because I've been around the worst people that you can imagine. Right. And I can feel it. I, I feel I feel it. I feel it. It's like yeah. you empty. You mm. know what I'm saying? I've been around people that's murderers and I can look at them. And you can see through them. You can see right through them. They ain't right. They right. hurt. They hurt. Right. So, you can talk that woman 816. Huh? Woman 816. Uh, if you don't mind, yeah, you say, let the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the truth. That's why you come here. Yeah. If the spirit was in not in you, you could just try to fight us, say, now nah, what y'all saying, nigga. And that's the same thing. When you want to cross somebody else who's a murderer, they get along with other murderers. Thieves get along with thieves. If you are a different spirit, y'all not going to agree. Okay. I appreciate that, y'all. No problem. I'm going to put you. all this down and I'm going to break it yeah. down. There you go, meditate yeah. on it, man. Yeah. You get that flyer? Oh, yeah, I got yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm on top yeah, of this. Yeah, all praise, all praise. You got YouTube video classes. Oh, I've been looking at them. Just show a break down. Yeah, yeah. My bro. homies in Detroit, they all, uh, you know, do that, too. Okay, all See? praise. Yeah, all yeah, praise. all my friends. Yeah. 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 Y'all take it easy. Right, Keep doing what y'all doing, man. All right, we're going to do that.